Okay, made 237 there with 200 torque. Let's go ahead and shut the motor down quick. Let's give it a second here. And we will go and take a look at our data log. And let's just say yes, we let it reload there. Control O, right here is our log, and let's take a peek. So we can see timing went to about 15, 16 degrees. Air fuel here looks good. Duty cycles 90%, that's fine. So let's jump out. Let me check the spark plugs here. And let me go and actually change the view on my, on my dyno real quick here so we can see how much of a difference spark timing can make. Let me go set the scales here quick on this comparison mode. It makes things laid out a little bit easier so you can see the difference as opposed to overlaying all of the runs in one, one shot there. And let's go here and let's compare it. Let's do one of our first pools in our comparisons. So if we look, we can see a tremendous difference in, in power by walking the timing up. Now, we're talking about the difference here, looking at our data log here on the top end. We're talking about 16 degrees timing. We were at zero, so we're about 14, 15 degrees more timing. Um, we're obviously having a lot more ignition timing safely, but we can see how much more power it makes. We started off, if we're looking at the top end of the table here, it actually eclipses the scale. Let's go ahead and rescale the table here. Hang on one second, I'm just trying to find my cursor. I apologize, I cannot see out of this car at all. Let's go here and set it at 300 scale so we can see this a little bit better here. Okay. So if we're looking at the top end of the table here, we can see that it made about 140 horsepower that first pull, and now we're doing about 240, so 100 more horsepower by ignition timing, I and mean, that's crazy. That's how much a difference timing can make. So let's jump out. I'm going to jump out, pull them out. We'll talk about it, and then we'll be wrapping up the video here. Hopefully, we're going to be able to do a, uh, a day two here of the cold start, and taking a look at the warm-up enrichment, the post-start, and what we might need to adjust since we have everything dialed in really nicely here. Let me go take those spark plugs out. We'll jump back in, and then we'll wrap this video up. OK, so I just pulled out the spark plugs here for the last time. They look clean. Everything looks good. I don't see any knock. I don't see any kind of uh, peppering on them. I'm going to be calling it quits here. We probably could run maybe another two or three degrees more timing and squeak out another five or ten horsepower, but the interest of keeping a stock motor reliable, I'm going to be stopping here. So reading the spark plugs, we can see they started off super cloudy, and then it started to burn off as we added more spark timing because we were getting the plug up to temperature when we were at the higher RPM and in the higher boost levels, um, and we definitely optimized everything. We obviously gained. 100 horsepower from our first pool. Um, so you can see the, the value in the spark timing and going in and tuning it. But we don't want to go in and just throw the spark timing in it right off the bat, even though we might assume that everything's going to be fine. I've been very successful in stock engines by taking a 